Hey everyone, my name is Corey, and today in Sony Vegas, we're going to be looking at how to remove noise and grain from your video, or at least do a pretty good job. So, honestly, the best way to do this is to use a plugin called Neat Video. This is not a free plugin, but it is available for Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, and After Effects. So, if you can get your hands on that pro program, <laughs> sorry, plugin, it's the best thing that you can do to remove the noise grain. Essentially what it does is you select a noise profile and it searches the video for that kind of profile and it just blends it. So if you've ever used Audacity, it's, a, it's pretty similar to the noise reduction um, effect. So if you don't have this plugin, you can still do it to an extent and what I've found is that adjusting the brightness and contrast actually helps just a little bit but unfortunately when you do that for example if I put turn the brightness down a little bit and increase the contrast um, it, it helps just a tad we're essentially losing some color though so if you don't have this then messing with the brightness and contrast and then possibly adding Messing with the color balance or the color curves would be a, another option in order to try to reduce some of this noise. But essentially, you're really not going to be removing too much. You're just changing the scene. So again, the best way to do it is to use this plugin called Neat Video. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to go ahead and search for that. Here it is, Neat Video, and drag it onto our clip. So it's going to come up with this dialog box. If you've Recorded in progressives, progressives default selected. If you use interlaced, then select interlaced. So what we need to do is configure a noise profile. So we don't, we click configure. So there's a couple things we can do. Uh, under tools, there you have a standard mode and an advanced mode. So that will come into play later. But if you don't see a lot of the options I have, then you're in standard mode. So what you can do is if you don't know really or if you're lazy in selecting a no noise profile all you have to do is select auto profile and it'll select an area in the video where the plugin thinks the most noise occurs however if you're a little bit better and you think you know where the noise is you can actually select a profile for example i think this ground here is a very good or maybe even this corner where you can see the darker noise as well as the lighter noise this might be a better spot to put it we can even include some of the lights like that let's see if that works i haven't tried this way so if we do that and collect auto profile hit okay that honestly didn't do a good job let's go here Okay, so if we select our area again, sorry about that. Alright, so if we go ahead and go into our configure options, this is the little dialog box that pops up. So if you're missing a lot of the effects that you're about to see, then you're in standard mode. The way to change that is if you go to tools, select advanced mode. You'll get a lot more customization for your scene. So what we need to do is we need to select a noise profile. If you're not sure where your the best noise profile is, all you have to do is select auto profile and the plugin will select an area in which it thinks is the best approximation of noise. However, if you know where a good source of noise is, for example, I think in this corner here, this is pretty much all noise. So I think this is where I want the plugin to select its profile to remove. So we click on that, hit auto profile, hit OK. Go to noise filter settings. It'll go ahead and give us this preview here. So immediately you can see, if we go back, especially within the lights here, as you see the light fades off, that's where you see a lot of noise. But it's blended. So there's still a couple things we can do to make this a bit better. So you have noise levels, noise reduction amounts, and sharpening. So again, if you don't see these options, you're in standard mode. To change that, you go to tools, and select advanced mode. So the highs, mids, and lows of the noise actually gives you different kinds of noise that you would have in your 
um, scene. So if you have a lot of sharp noise, this is where the highs come in, the mids are kind of this cloudier thing, and the lows are kind of softer. So if you know in your video you have a lot of sharp noise, just bump that up a little bit, and maybe you'll go ahead and blend it a little bit. But in here, we have, honestly, mids is where our noise is. So if, if we bump those up, you don't really see much of a change because it went ahead and auto-did it for us. But there's a couple other things. So noise reduction amounts. I don't know why you wouldn't want to have this at 100. If you're trying to remove the noise, then obviously you want to have it at 100%. And the other thing we can change is the sharpening. So these are different kind of um, color channels, and so you can select one uh, and sharpen a certain segment. Honestly, the way that this was shot, I don't want to change it. But if you do have a scene where you want to make it a bit more sharp around the edges, for example, this was meant to be out of focus. The focus is on his mouth here. So we don't really need to touch the sharpening, honestly. So that's pretty much it for this. So if we hit apply, you can see that a lot of the noise is gone, especially in this scene. It really blends in with the rest of the video. It looks very uniform. It looks like it was supposed to do this because it was. This was honestly the way it was supposed to come out. So again, everyone, that's this plugin called Neat Video. Unfortunately, it's not free. There are ways to get it, but please support the creator of the plugin. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Corey from the techies.